Now let's talk about the text tool. You can find the text tool on your toolbar up here, represented by the letter T, which also happens to be the shortcut. You can then click on your artboard and this creates a text box the exact same size as your text. You can also click and drag to create a custom sized text box. And when you first create your text box, you are able to change the text. However, if you want to change the text again, you can either double click or just highlight your text box and tap enter. And of course, the last way to change your text is to go to your hierarchy, open up your text, highlight the text run, and then go over here and you can change the text here. Text boxes have a bunch of properties. These include your standard transform properties like position, scale, and rotation. However, we also get a few more properties down here. For instance, we can change the size of the text box itself. We can change the text box's origin. So I can set it to 50 and 50, and that puts the origin in the center of the box. However, just like your other layers, you can change the origin by tapping Y to enter freeze mode and change the origin like that, and then tap Y again. Like many other text tools, we also have alignment options. The default is align left, but we also have align center and align right. We also have three options for sizing the text box around the text. At the moment, we have it set to a fixed size. This means that we're able to change the width and the height of the text box. However, we can change it to auto height which means that you're only able to change the width and the height is simply set to the height of the text. And we also have auto width. This means that you can change neither the width nor the height of the text box because both of them are simply adjusting to the size of the text. So if you look at the width property, it says 88. But if I change it to something a bit longer, that is now 247. In essence, these three options exist to restrict the text box size options. So notice how these two properties change as I toggle through the different options. If we change the text box to a fixed size, giving our text box a height, I can now show you that we have vertical alignment options as well. So of course we are currently aligning to the top, but we can also align to the middle and the bottom. We also have wrapping options as well over here. So let's say our text is something really long and we want it wrapping round. That is what this is doing right now. It is wrapping and therefore containing the text within our text box. So if we didn't have this option selected and we set it to no wrap, then the text simply extends beyond the text box. Now let's look at our overflow options using a longer bit of text. By default, our overflow is set to visible, meaning any text that's outside of our text box is of course visible. But if I was to change the overflow to hidden, this means that our lines simply disappear as they fall outside of the text box. The next option is clipped, which is similar to hidden, except that instead of hiding lines, we're simply clipping or cropping the text that is outside of the text box, even if we're halfway through a line. The next option is ellipsis, which is a lot like hidden since we are hiding each line. However, we also have these three dots at the end, which simply suggests that we have more text that is not contained within the size of this text box. And the final overflow option is fit, which basically shrinks the size of your text down until it fits the entire thing within your text box. I'm just gonna go back to using visible and show you this next option.
paragraph spacing. And all this does is it controls the space between our paragraphs.